you know, and they, they were sad. Sorry about that, but we you felt like I went off or anything. Oh, fine. Well, anyway, they no, was talking. No, about, they was talking about um, the, uh, the abuse in their family that they experienced as children, right? So, and as I'm watching it, like it's funny how the universe works, right? Like you could be doing something. I call it like antenna. Or, or I call it like I'll speak of a friend of mine that I haven't seen in a while. And then I will go to work. Oh, yeah. Right. And then she will be in. And I'm like, hey, I was think of you last night. And there you are. Like, it's a game. But it's true. Yeah. So anyway. Right. Yeah. There was this incident where you know, just right up your alley, you know, something like just come out of the clear blue, like, you know, you were just talking about me, Jackie, you know what I'm saying? adulthood is one um, we're reluctant to wear long sleeve wait, we're, uh, we're, we're reluctant to wear short sleeve shirts even in the summertime that's one of the that's one of the uh, what do you call it I guess behavioral and I learned that a while back so after I learned that, I started forcing myself, like certain occasions, and even now I throw myself off, right, right? I try to force myself to wear a short sleeve shirt, right? Um, yeah. Right. So, but then I, this other, and this is stuff that I just learned. Like I said, I learned stuff because when. Like, so this deal, this stuff, it deals, I deal with it, it deals with me, so I, I try to deal with it, which I believe everyone does. I don't believe there's anyone that's a, like we would call a, a, a slacker. I don't think anyone is lazy. I don't think those are, I think those are bad, bad labels we put on people. Um, I just think people do at their own pace, at their own time. And you know that's where it happens to whatever. So when you, what's that? You ever heard that saying? If you knew better, you would do better. Never heard the saying, but well, not. yeah, you see that, and and that's just giving everybody the benefit of the doubt. Like if you alive and you're breathing, there's something you're doing right. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, um, that goes in. And forgive me if I'm scattering around because I just tapped onto this. And I say, well, the, the, the podcast that I was watching triggered the nerve. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, because they was talking about childhood abuse. Now, what would say, well, what's that got to do with you? Well, a lot. Because though it happened to me when I was a child, that's part of the blanket. You see what I'm saying? So, 
I didn't know it was abuse because I was a child. You think the you think because it happened to you when you was eight or whatever, you think that happens to everybody. You know understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So that's how it was with me. I didn't know that it was abuse. You see what I'm saying? I thought it was just normal because I experienced yeah. it. Um, my few of my friends, whatever, experienced it, right? So we all thought, and I want, I would carefully craft my words wisely, not trying to be whatever, but just saying that this type of behavior was wrong, and it affected us, and not just singularly me and my family. I'm saying that generation, a lot of my peers went through situations like that. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to go really in real quick so you can understand what I'm talking about, right? Without, you know, to protect the guilty party, we'll just say. Just bear with me, right? So when I was a child, I remember standing at school, standing at the school bus stop waiting to catch the bus. Me and peers, a couple of friends of ours, and cousins were standing at this bus stop, okay? This kid, a peer of mine, was whatever, right? Being a kid, you know, right? We kids talking, playing games, waiting for the bus. For no reason, his mom comes out of the house with a switch and just beats him in front of all of us. It didn't happen to me. But just so you can understand, this is the type of stuff that I'm talking about. This type of generation, this type of stuff, this normal to us. But we shouldn't have been dealing with this type of stuff, but it was bad. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? No. Okay. Now, back to what I'm saying. I watched this podcast about these brothers that were talking, and they mentioned something as an effect of the abuse that they experienced as kids. They don't, this is as they're adults. They no longer go to their parents' house. And they don't have relationships with family members that what they grew up with. Like their close cousins, their brothers. One of the brothers never see him again. And I go, oh my God. Wow. Could I be going through that? And not just me, a lot of us. You see what? Do you see what I'm? Do you, you understand what I'm asking? I'm sorry, it's a little too crazy in here. Right. Like, I don't know. It feels like that. Like, I don't know. That's weird, right? Like, do you have... I'm not trying to get, like... But like I said, it was a time. You see what I'm saying? I was born in 1971. So get the timeline right. You see what I'm saying? We moved... Okay. We moved from Spring Valley... New York City, that's right outside New York City, to New England and Massachusetts. Yeah. Right? But I'm just saying, I only say that just to say that it was a time. This is where everybody was raising their kids. But it was wrong. And, yeah. bruh, and we're doing the, we're going, cause, because there's some things about abuse that even if not not treated, like effects, and the sad part about it is these certain effects don't affect you when you're a kid. They come at you when you're an adult. Like, what the hell? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, because when you're a kid, it's just 
of it happened to when they're an adult. So they, they must not be as strong as we expect them to be. You see what I'm saying? So for instance, another thing that happened to me recently, and I, when I say recently, I say recently within the last 20 years. They say that a lot of people that go through this stuff don't know how to handle money. I've gotten a lot of money At one particular time, for the books that I do and all for, for what I do, I had some amount, we'll say, and I didn't spend none of it on me. Yeah. I didn't spend none of it on me. I invested every dime on it. Didn't have anything like, like, oh, you should have bought a car, or, and it's not like looking at back on it as regret. It's just looking at like, wow. The stuff that these like people that study this stuff, they have voice. It's true. Like it's wild. Like, like it's a lot of things, a lot of issues that like that that are un, whatever that that you don't think affect you and and it doesn't matter. Like, like it can happen to you when you're like you don't even remember. Like I was like wow, like it's crazy. And I look back on my life and I'm like. That is crazy. Like, like, well, I, I don't know. I can't. I, like, it, it teaches us, you know. You know, one thing, like, you know, because I guess now this generation, they don't, go, they're not so quick to like, like, slam their kids in around, <laughs> beat the hell out of them and stuff. But no, there was a time when that was normal, when people just did that. But you know what I'm saying? It. it Right. Yeah, um, whereas I feel like different types of people, like we're Americans, for example, like America, that's like a huge thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there is something that's affected that, of course. I know. Like, there's just something I thought of. It's just like, wow. Interesting, you know? Like, I don't know these people that were talking in this podcast, but they said something that triggered her, I guess, triggering to me, and it's something that I relate to. Like, oh my God, I do the same thing. Like, that's crazy. You know? Oh. So. Like, when you say you do the same thing, so your experiences in childhood, and what, what they I isolate myself. Don't show the family whatever's, you know, don't celebrate Christmas, don't celebrate Easter, stuff like that. Now, I have a I have a theory on I have a hypothesis on the religious aspect of it. And even now people may think it's whatever, but so like my thing about the religious stuff is I think the one of a, one of my therapists I spoke about it, and I think like it's like I think of it as like rated R. I think of it as like triple X, right? So and when I say that, and I said it to one of the other therapists, I was like, "There's good, there's there's there, there there's rated R." When we think of parental guidance, right? We think of bad things, but like it's opened up a little wider. There's good and bad. Rated R. There's things that's for adults only that's good, like the Bible and religion. I don't think the Bible and religion is appropriate for kids. 
I don't think it is. I think it does more harm than good. I don't think, bro, I think kids should be playing. They don't need to be in a church, you know, doing all this. No, that's not, that's, I don't think that's appropriate. Yeah, it's Catholic church and you have to sit and get out. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. And the church is what. They, yeah. I don't think it's an appropriate place for kids, right? It's good. Yes, it's good. But I don't think that it's appropriate for kids. I think it's like rated X for kids because. The kid just got here. What the kid know? We have kids. See, the narrative that that generation had was they never let you be three. You was expected to be 35 your whole life. You were, for real, you was supposed to act and uh, carry yourself like a 35-year-old. But man, you just got here. Now, the grandparents... We look at our kids as bad behavior or whatever that we quote call bad behavior, which isn't bad behavior. And we think of that as, oh, why don't they discipline their kids like we did? Oh, well, well, I mean, hey, but then again, see, we're living in a different time than they did. They, they, maybe that was an appropriate time for them and maybe that was appropriate for us to go through that. I don't know. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? myself like I feel like conflicted and I know and I know some family members don't just 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 straight up don't even deal with it like one of my cousins he'll he'll just like be like 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 he'll just be like like bad you know and me it's like because a lot of stuff come on like I said we were put in this situation. A lot of us. You know, most of us. Yeah. We didn't even know, you know? And I was like thinking one day, I was like, could that be it? Like, you know, could somewhere that like un- repressed like memory or whatever, could I've gotten chastised a little too hard by somebody that I didn't that I don't even remember the act. I don't even remember that the incident, but it affects me now. Like it's weird. Like the way they was explaining it was like it's one of the signs. Like one of them, one of them even say, and you probably are familiar with this, um, excessive stuttering is the sign of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, but to, but I just want to clarify myself to think like I'm not I'm not co-signing. What do you call it? There's a term for it. 
that a lot of people use. I'm not co-signing um, curse your upbringing or or be like you know you know what I'm saying. People like 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 like. I'm not okay. I'm trying to say this carefully. Just bear bear with me. I'm not. I'm not. Say like, oh, I'm against my whole family. I'm not like that. And I'm also not just going to follow and then have kids and do the same thing to my kids. Like, I'm trying to learn from it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So like one of, one of the one of the therapists was like, you know, put yourself and it was an anger anger management course that I took. And it was like put yourself in the person's shoes for a quick minute and see what they're like going through. And that could probably like put some understanding on it. And I was like, okay, yeah. So it's kinda like I look okay, I would say like I'm in the middle. But at the same time, I'm a human. So, meaning, like, things did affect me, and they're showing up now, like, which is crazy. Like, oh my God. Like, why? Why are they, you know, like, and like you said, it's true. It's like, things happen that would bring my mind, I guess, back to that whatever. So, I'm like, no, I don't want to deal with that. Which is understandable, you know, but it's like at the yeah. same time, like no, I'm not like trying to get revenge and like no. For instance, here's one question that I came up with through watching them all and learning, learning, getting through it, whatever. So my father wasn't around a lot. Okay? So, could this play a part in my self confidence? Have I ever heard my mom or any female in my hierarchy of growing up, as far as aunts, teachers even, have I heard my mom speak? good about my father when my father wasn't around. The reason why I came up with that question, think about it like this. What I have as a person to look up to, okay, in my psyche, and my being, the ultimate man for me, whether he wasn't around a lot or not, my father calls me to this day, calls me all the time. It's my father. Now, your mother could be could be Queen Elizabeth. Your mother could be a bag lady on the street. But to you and your psyche, your mother is God. Your mother is the ultimate woman to look forward to be. Has your father, have you heard your father speak good about your mother outside of her company? And the reason why I say outside of my dad's company, meaning how does the rest of the world perceive my father? Because that's who I'm aiming to be like. Now, if everybody around me speaks ill of my father, well, that's me. I'm going to be ill. Do you understand what I'm getting at with this? Did I lose you? No, um, <laughs> a little bit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Father, the same 
say your mom, you never caught her speaking good of your father yeah. outside of the company? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of wrong. Right, right. And that's an important piece about it. Outside of your, outside of your father's company, and a woman outside of her mother's company. You see what I'm saying? Have you ever heard your father speak good of your mother outside of her company? And the reason why I say that is an important piece about it is because that's who you're aiming to be like. That's who you're aiming to be good. That's going to put the level of good, level of success, level of perfection, because that's all you have. My father, if I never heard any of them speak good about my father, well, what's the sense of being good? Oh, he's a lion chief. Well, okay, I'm going to be a lion chief. You oh, see what I'm getting at? That's an interesting theory, yes. Yeah. Because, you know, there is a bad, you know, that is something that happens a lot with your parents. You know, when you're not like that. And, you know, you see yourself as your father. Right. lien certificate on a from property and he would get him and his friends and his brothers and us and we would cut the house and rebuild it and sell it and he kept doing it kept doing it over and over and over again that's that's just that's what how he fed us but we would have never known that because all of the others in the family didn't understand him instead of whatever, criticized him and whatever. So we heard the bad thing growing up. We never absorbed or learned the good things that he was doing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So that's what I'm just saying. Like, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, you know, just thinking. Just thinking out loud, I guess. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would. I'm sorry. Did I get too heavy? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I get too heavy? <laughs> no, no, you're fine. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Um, but the podcast and then again talking about the, your your patterns of isolation, right? Mm hmm. Um, and then all this stuff that you've been kind of just reflecting on, which makes sense. Um, which I didn't even know all this. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I knew about, like, the uh, religion aspect of your upbringing, of course. Right, it's right. Not it is interesting. Mm -hmm. And then I know that also, like, in your generation as well, it was more, it was more normalized, you know, the, the, the physical and, 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 I don't want to say views. Yeah. But, I mean, we'll call it what it is, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Than it is now. 
is socially mature you think I'm like socially immature improperly socialized no. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. Which it's just being more mature emotionally and socially and all that. So, and even when you when you spend all the time by yourself and you're doing your research and you're reading and you're watching different podcasts, the topics that you explore that are interesting to you and that you like to speak on are very, 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 very deep intellectual topics that if you go somewhere where there's people it's Right, right, right. They doing their own time. Right, yeah. They doing well. Well, that then that brings you. Well, yeah. But then that brings to mind this thing that I'm working on. But I have to put it together and and articulate it right. And it's about and it's not. And don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those like atheist people or whatever. But like this concept that we do with religion. I don't know if you ever ever, but. I'm sure there, are, you know, you say you're, you're Puerto Rican. I'm sure you have members in your family or whatever, in your grand, whatever, that was in church and stuff. So, but this whole thing that they teach about in church, right? What, okay, this concept, and I don't agree with, about privacy, okay? What they see, teach us is that, oh, God knows everything you're doing all the time, so you got to be good. Just basically tell me. You know, or God, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Don't make anyone have the only, like, Think, yeah, I don't believe that's true. Yes, I don't believe that's true. You know, like, they, they even said that that song that they teach in school, kids, you know, better be, better not pout, you better not cry, you better not, I don't tell you what Santa Claus is. They say that's actually a horror movie, a horror story. It's not a good story. And when the person broke that down to me, I was like, oh, wait, make you want to listen to it again. Because you don't want somebody looking at you anytime, anywhere, all the time. And, okay, God is whatever. Yeah, that's true. But I don't believe God cares about what you're doing on your private time. All that. God wants you to be by yourself and learn stuff. Because you can't learn nothing if you're someone's over your shoulder all the time. <laughs> Okay. okay. Churches teach that, you know, like stop teaching that junk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this, this is why they teach this. I mean, this is a perfect way to control people, right? 
Yeah. 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 Ye